Good morning, Rock Church, Facebook, my brothers and sisters on YouTube and Twitter. This is Pastor Robert Louis Stevenson on this wondrous Wednesday. Come on, somebody. Hey, man, it's so good to be with you all this morning. I'm, ex I'm very excited because I know these next few days, man, we're going to enjoy some things that God's revealed through his word. And so I want you to get ready. I want you to get ready, man, because he's going to reveal something that's going to help all of us. Good to see you, Sister Queenie. Good to see you this morning. Let's pray. Father God, we bless you this morning. We thank you for another day that you chose to give us. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Thank you, Father. Thank you so much for allowing us to live. God, I pray that we won't take it for granted that we will put our spiritual lenses on to know that it was you, oh God, to woke, woke us up this day. We were woken up, God, to worship you, to magnify you, to honor you. May we do that. God, I thank you that you have revealed your word to us. And God, that you have something to say to us this day. May we receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, you know all, it was the, the challenge I gave you all yesterday morning was to read Psalms chapter 19, verse 1 through 13. Here's the reason why. Because that's the series we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on all 13 verses. So that verse 14, you can really understand why David said the things he said. Okay. So that being said, brothers and sisters, I want you to think about this for a moment. I want you to think about um, the things that we have seen before our very eyes. Some people say, Pastor Rob, man, how, how do you hear from God? You know? Man, I hear from God, man, through his word. I hear from God as the Holy Spirit is in my conscience talking to me. I hear from God, man, when I walk outside my house. Man, I see the nature, right? And I'm, I'm watching God. It's, it's amazing. And I'm going to reveal a lot of it to you through scriptures so you can understand that, man, you can hear from God if you allow your eyes to be open. And your ears to be open. Come on, somebody. So I want to, uh, I have titled this devotion this morning, God Never Stopped Revealing Himself. He has never stopped revealing himself. He's not just revealing himself to me. He, he, he revealing himself to the world, to mankind. But mankind is not looking with spiritual eyes. So these verses that we're going to talk about, the first 13 verses, I'm going to do one verse at a time. I just want to give you a little uh, uh, input on where we're going, and, and give you some reflection on that. So I, I'm going to teach this series, the, uh, uh, the verses 1 through 6, is really going to reveal God himself through his nature by his power. So these first six verses, we're just going to be talking about the nature of God. You're going to see nature outside, the power of God. And then we're going to talk about verses 7 through 11, talks about uh, how God revealed himself through the word, uh, we'll be looking at his holiness and our sinfulness, okay? Hey, man, it's like there's nothing that's, that God doesn't know, right? In the last two verses, uh, 12 and uh, 14, uh, we don't understand that God is truly our redeemer because of his graciousness and our forgiveness has opened up a door for our salvation, all right? That's how we're going to go. That's what we're going to be learning. So please, come on, y'all. Go back and read Psalms uh, 19, 1 through 13, and start thinking about that and, and ask God to reveal that word to you, all right? Now, so here it is. The remember where we found this wondrous Wednesday is in Psalms 19, 1. Verse 1 says this, the heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hand. Here, we, here it is. David is talking about something that he's revealed uh, based on what he's seen outdoors, okay? David was a shepherd, man. He was outside. Oftentimes, he slept outside. You know, I know we live in this city and got these city lights, man. It's hard for us to see the stars, okay? Man, you know, just get away sometimes and say, man, I want to I wanna get out. I want to go to the suburbs. I want to go somewhere where I can really see the stars, man, and understand, man, the, the, the glory of the, uh, the galaxy, right? And so, he, he began to look at the stars, the sun, the moon. We could see the moon, man. I don't know if it's just something like, oh, that's just the moon. You know, we, we really never give thought to how God created it. 
or, or the sun, you know what I mean? Man, we, you know, we want to recognize how much we want the sun until it's always cloudy outside. And then when the sun come out, if you ain't careful, you'd be like, it's too sunny. Man, instead of us complaining about it's too sunny or complaining about it's just a half a moon, we ought to start, hey, basking in the glory of God's hand and his creation and his nature, okay? Let his nature remind you that he's speaking to us. Brothers and sisters, listen, Paul wrote something like this, okay? See, God reveals himself through his nature, right? And oftentimes, if we are not careful with our words, okay, we'll forget, man, that God is present. See, that's why we ought to be careful about what we say and, and the meditation of our heart should be acceptable to God, okay? The things that we do and say, we want to we want to set it up to God. We, we, we know you're present. We thank you. You know, hey, man, because God's, he is constantly revealing himself that he's that he's able, right? That 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 he is right there with you, okay? And so, hey, at the end of the day, people can't say, man, God ain't here. Yes, he is. He right in the midst, brothers and sisters, right? Hey, don't don't stop. You know, don't believe that God is not revealing himself cuz he has. And in in that, what we do and how we do it, hey, we got to be very mindful who we are, whom we belong to, right? And so we can't have, we, well, I mean, we can't make no excuses while we do and say some of the things we do and say, okay? Man, we have to look at the word of God for itself. And man, look, and it speaks to us. It shows us that God is still revealing himself. Paul said this in Romans 1.20. He said, God's invisible attributes. Man, come on, man. God's invisible attributes, okay? Namely, his eternal power and divine nature having been clearly perceived ever since the creation of the world. We can see God. I know sometimes people say, Pastor Rob, you just be tripping. Yeah, yeah, listen. I can see God in his nature. You can too. But here's what has happened. Satan has found a way to sear our conscience so that we don't see that God is revealed himself, and he's present. You don't ever have to feel alone no more. You don't have to feel like, hey, man, God is, he distanced from you. God is right here. He's right there. All we got to do is embrace what he's created, and they're still living. Look, we live in the four seasons of the Midwest. We live in the Midwest where we have four seasons, y'all. Hey, man, listen, we're, we're embarking on the spring. Look what God is doing. He is allowing the rain to come. He is allowing the weather to change. All the snow that we had in the winter and all the dirt and all the ice and all the salt. Man, God is using the rain right now to clean our streets, man, to clean your grass. All the things that need to be purified, God is using it through rain. And what? not only through rain, what's going to come up? The beauty of the flowers is going to come up. Come on, somebody. The budding of the trees, the pretty leaves of the trees. Instead of us complaining about all these leaves, we ought to thank God when the fall come down that God revealed himself through the spring to make the fall. Come on now. Let the fall be revealed because he's saying, I am still revealing myself. I don't want you to think that I'm not there. I don't want you to think I'm not talking. I don't want you to think I'm not serious about who I am and who you are to me. That's why David was praying the way he was praying. He was he was connected to the divine nature of God. Brothers and sisters, let me ask you. Are you ready to release yourself this wondrous Wednesday knowing that God himself never stopped revealing himself? So how are we going to do that, okay? We're going to keep it so simple, saints. I want to give you seven things to remind you, okay? Hey, man, the power of God revealing himself and how we are benefiting from it even to this very day. Number one. I want you to read Genesis chapter one. Come on, somebody. See, there was a there's an end and there's a beginning. Okay, hey man, the beginning is in Genesis. The end is in Revelation. So just start thinking about this for a moment. Number one, what did God what did God do? The, when He created creation, He says the first day He was what He He created Him the light. Okay, hey man. The second day we got to remember. Okay, 
The skies were created. Look at God, man. He said, here's, I want to remind you, hey, man, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still revealing myself. The third day, dry land, sea, plants, and trees were created. Oh man, now you get to go to the lakefront and you get to go to, you, 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 you can see the sea if y'all living in Florida. Man, look at, look at, look at, look at the dry land that we have. Look at the plants. Look at the trees. And he did that on the third day. Man, on the fourth day, what did he do? The sun, the moon, the stars were created. The very thing that, hey man, David was talking about, he said, man, that was created on the fourth day. On the fifth day, Creatures that lived in the sea and creatures that fly uh, were created, okay? Hey, man, God was doing some stuff. God, God put the creatures in the sea. Come on now. Hey, man, go to the shed aquarium and watch God. Oh, Jesus. Man, when my wife and I, we was in Atlanta, we went to the Atlanta Aquarium. Man, we seen God in a ray of fishes. Come on, somebody. Boy, 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 you ought to take uh, you ought to take some time to go to the shed aquarium, and you can see the hand of God, man. And then on the what on the sixth day, he he did what animals that lived on land and and, and humans, and and he made us in the image of God. We were created, and so hey, man, when you forget, hey, that 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 you feel like God ain't there, just go look in the mirror. <laughs> Look in the mirror and you're going to see that God is there because he created you in his image. And lastly, on the seventh day, he finished his work. And God created and he rested. And he made that seventh day holy. Brothers and sisters, listen to me. I'm just keeping it simple, saints. This ain't rocket science, right? All, I'm, all, all God wants us to do is remember that we have the ability Hey, man, before we say something, man, listen here, let's use our words that's going to build up people. Let's use our words that's going to magnify the creator. Let's use our words, man, to create a platform so other people will know who Jesus is. Let's use our words to tell the world that God created all things and let the heavens declare the glory of God and the skies proclaim the work of his hand. Let the body of Christ say amen. Father, God, we thank you for the word of God this morning. We thank you, God, that for the reminders, God, things that we have most, most often taken for granted, God. I, sometimes, God, I, I'm even guilty about the weather. God, either it's too cold or it's rainy or, or the sun is too hot. And, and God, I'm, I'm tired of the leaves that I got to rake up in my yard come fall. And then, of course, here come winter. Here we go with the shoveling and the snow and all the other things that take place in these four seasons. And God, I myself have complained. God, forgive us where we have complained. Forgive us, God, where we become, we became blinded by your revealing yourself to us in these four seasons that we live in in the Midwest, that we get to see you, God, and that we get to really focus our lenses on our divine, your divine nature. May we never forget who you are to whom we belong to based on what you have given us through your son, Jesus Christ, coming down. God, I thank you, God, that he's going to always indeed be resurrected in our hearts and in our actions and our thoughts and things that we say and do. May you be glorified in Jesus' name. Let God's people say amen. Y'all just been kissed on this wondrous Wednesday. Come on, y'all. Keep looking at the word of God. Look at God's revealing himself. He has not stopped revealing himself. All we got to do is take time and embrace what God is doing, what God has said, and what God looks like. May you allow yourself to always be open to the Redeemer. I am Pastor Robert Louis Stevenson. I am so excited to be able to see what God has to say to us every single morning. May you take advantage of God being so good to you and go tell somebody else, I love you. i see you tomorrow morning. And for those of you all want to catch tonight's message, oh my God, you don't want to miss it at seven o'clock. There's a word that the word of God must be preached. I love you. Take care of yourself.